Hello, hello, beautiful people. This is your girl, Shy, and I'm back with another video. This video will be about the seven kinds of locks that you can have or get that's out there. Now, this may not be all, but this is pretty much a lot of what I found during my own research. So if you are interested, go ahead, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, share, all of that good stuff, and we're gonna get right into the video. All right, y'all, so I have my little handy dandy Okay, I'm just playing. We're gonna be talking about the seven kinds of locks that you can get, you know? Okay, seriously. <laughs> All right, so the first one that I have is freeform. Freeform locks are, I would say, kind of like the low maintenance locks. So some people choose to let their hair just gradually kind of um, match up together. There's not a specific grid or anything. It's kind of like whatever naturally forms as a lot is what they choose. So some people will kind of finger cool to start it, you know, just to get it started. Some people actually just wash their hair repeatedly and just let it kind of do it on its own. I think some people who have done freeform, I want to say J. Cole's was kind of like freeform. It's freeform is simply letting them be free, let them do their own thing. You're not trying to have it all neat and nice and you have to get a retwist every, you know, four weeks or anything like that. You literally just let them do their thing. Subsystem of that is semi uh, freeform. I notice a lot of people who do semi freeform, they tend to get retwist, but it's very like far and few in between or their locks are mature and they just stopped getting a twist. So it could be one or the other with the freeform. Another one I saw was Wix or con Congos. And Wix is kind of like Kodak wax locks. I noticed that they'll take like a crochet tool and kind of just four to like 10 big, you know, locks. And the name actually come from like a candle wick. So you know how like it stands up? That's kind of like where the name for wicks come. Another one is Congos. And Congos are similar to wicks. The only difference is wicks, I won't say the only difference, but one major difference is that the wicks have like a rounded bottom and um, Congos tend to have like be like one lock and then at the bottom you see different twists like mini twists another another kind of locks is the goddess lock so you know how like when you go to the braid store and it has the lock with the curly ends but guess what some people are choosing to do that naturally i'm all for it you pretty much just keep your ends curly you can already have locks and kind of comb out your ends put a little conditioner on there and kind of let it be free and some people just naturally have that soft loose curly texture so naturally they have little ringlets at the bottom of their locks now we have unto the king and queen of locks which i would say which is traditional locks traditional locks can be started started by so many methods. So coils, twists, sprays, that kind of thing. This is what you're usually seeing as far as like the headliner of locks. When you go on Instagram or you look at pictures, most of the time it is traditional locks. You can have like different shapes of diamond parts, uh, square grids, uh, no grid. So they tend to rank, I would say from like 20 to like 150-ish, you know, and it can be done with coils, twists, instant locking, that kind of thing. So a subcategory of traditional locks are micro locks, and that is simply smaller locks compared to your traditional ones. That tend to range a number, I would say 150 to about 350, but honestly, some people have like 500, 600 micro locks. It just all depends. These are for people who want traditional locks, but they don't want it as thick. So this kind of gives them their versatility, but it's not as small as sister locks. Micro locks can be started with interlocking twists, kind of in the same way that traditional. There is no set way to necessarily have micro locks. And that brings me to sister locks. So sister locks are micro locks, but micro locks are not sister locks. Sister locks, um, I believe, was made by Dr. Cromwell. Crowell. I could be getting that wrong. I'm kind of thinking of this on the fly. And it's patented. So it's a specific type of way that you have to do it. It's a certain grid system. There are certain rules that must be followed. Training is done and you have to, it has to be done literally by a sister lock trainee or a sister lock consultant. And they actually have a website 
in each state to let you know like who's legit and who's not. These are very small. They use a special tool to create the lock and can range literally I would say 275 and onwards. I've seen people with like 300 sister locks and some people with 600. You know, so um, it just all depends. But the thing about sister locks is there are certain rules and guidelines that must be followed in order for them to be considered sister locks. And lastly, I'm going to call these like the instant locks. And these are the ones where pretty much you're not necessarily, I guess, going through an ugly stage. So you can like go in and you already have a full form lock. So you're not waiting for your uh, texture to change. They kind of like back comb your hair and kind of just uh, intertwine it with like a crochet tool to kind of form a lock. So you're starting off the bat with locked hair. Prices for that tend to start at, I would say like $500. And this is great for someone who maybe has like soft texture hair or maybe someone who just don't want to go through the entire process and kind of just want the their locks now kind of thing that has just started emerging or becoming i guess more known recently but that is also um a kind of lock that you can go for all right y'all so that concludes my video i hope this provides just a little bit of insight for those of you who are interested in starting your lock journey but just don't really know that much this is kind of just a quick synopsis of it of course you can find more information um on the internet but hopefully these pictures and um descriptions kind of stir you in the direction that you are looking for so thank you again for watching and until the next video